All right, unboxing time for the Belva BB5000 DV2 Class D 5000 watt max amplifier. Let's face it, it's not going to do 5000 watts. This baby's rated at 3000 watts RMS at 1 ohm. I'm kind of doubtful it's going to do that, but let's crack her open. Let's see what we've got inside. And first thing, what the heck is this? Proof of high output alternator installed required for any and all amp warranty claims. I, I don't think I've actually ever seen this before. Um, I, I've got an Orion amplifier that does over 3000 watts and it does not have one of these included. Basically, this thing says, failure to upgrade your vehicle's charging system will damage your amplifier due to distortion, short circuit, or other failure. This may, all call, may also cause damages to your charging system and subwoofers. Uh, so basically, if you want to warranty this amp later on, you can send Sonic Electronics uh, proof that you have a high output alternator and at least one gauge wiring. Uh, and possibly even a upgraded battery so I mean it's got warnings like it's a real 3000 watt amplifier comes with spare parts I don't know what the hell's in here Belva BB series V2 amplifier manual and a Belva sticker. Because who wouldn't want to put a Belva sticker on the back of their vehicle? I mean, this might be a nice amp, but I mean, could you think of a more uncool name for an amplifier than Belva? I mean, you have to say it like that. You say Belva. I have a Belva. You know, it's not like a cool, it's not like I have a Rockford. I have a, you know, I have an Ampere or I have a Sundown. It's like, I have a Belva. <laughs> I mean, looks nice though. I mean, check check this thing out. Brushed. Ooh, this thing's not light. I'll give it that. Kind of a brushed finish on top. Let's get this stuff out of here. I'm not a small guy, and this thing actually's got some heft to it. I'll give it that. It ain't light. Ooh, this is nice. We'll be able to check out the guts in here. There's no sticker over the side. So, Sonic, you can't get me on that one, you bastards. Nice, though. Nice little engraving for the uh, Malva logo on there. It's kind of nice. <clears throat> Terminals. This is good. Phillips head screws on there. That's kind of neat. I don't have to worry about changing out all these different uh, Allen wrench screws, but one thing I don't like in there, you probably can't see it, but in here, the screw for the remote wire already looks stripped. So, let's see how that actually works. It's got a, it's nice, it's got dual inputs for speakers. I mean, obviously, it's bridged internally, there's no speaker one, speaker two. No different channels on here. This side, you get adjustments for gain. You get a low pass filter adjustment, your subsonic. Subsonic goes up to 50 hertz. You have your bass boost and your bass frequency, so you can pick which, which one you want to boost out. And of course, you have inputs and outputs for the RCAs and a, and a remote, which I don't see them including a remote. I got, I got this. I got a uh, fuse holder with a 250 amp fuse inside. That's nice. It's the base holder in here. <laughs> Somebody's already taped over it once. 
Okay, it came with Allen keys. Um, I don't need an Allen key for anything, but thanks. Oh, there it is. There's my badass Belva base knob. Uh, yep. Okay, so spare parts is really your remote level control box. And, oops. Literally, uh, other than the screws, a bunch of shit you don't need. So, yeah. Anyone wants uh, another Allen key, hit, you know, email me. <laughs> I got a couple extra. So what do you think, folks? Now that we got her open, there's really only one thing left to do. Let's see what she can put out on the amp dyno. See if 3,000 watts is a reality for this thing or if it's just a dream. Personally, I think it's going to do somewhere between 22 and 2,500 watts. Uh, you know, I don't want to sound pessimistic going into this, but um, I've looked on the internet and this amplifier on the inside is pretty much the same as an RE Audio XTX 5000.1D. Um, that amplifier is rated at 2,500 watts RMS, and it's an RE Audio lately, and it's probably best case scenario a 2,500 watt amplifier. Um, probably more like 22 to 23 in a certified situation. Um, maybe dynamically it'll do over 2,500 watts, and maybe this one on dynamically will do over 2500 watts as well you know and dynamic is more what you're going to see when you're actually playing the amplifier and you know I, I, I don't know I mean this thing does over 2500 watts I mean I paid 180 bucks for this thing um, it's typically 199 there was a one hour sale I said shoot why not let's get it in let's give it a test let's see what if it can do um, but if it can do 2500 watts this thing is probably the best value on the market, even being overrated. So, enough talking. Let's hook it up. Let's see what this bitch can do. Okay, it's that time. One ohm certified test run. I'm uh, I'm a little nervous. You know, she's pulling about a hundred and almost 180 amps on the last test. My power supplies are rated to burst up to 400, but I'm going to tell you, they do not like doing certified tests um, at at over 2,000 watts. So I'm going to hope I don't get a fire, because this will put over 2,000 watts. This is over a 2,000 watt amp, uh, that's for sure. Um, 
I'm thinking we're probably going to end up at around 2200 watts on this test. I'm going to be stunned if we get over. Um, I'm, I'm just hoping. No fire, please. No fire, no fire, no fire, no fire, no fire. Oh, goodness. Disappointed on the certified test, but twenty eight ten. Um, God damn. I mean, that's that's a lot. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm speechless. Uh, this is a hundred and eighty eighty dollar amp that I just paid for. I mean, granted one ninety nine, Sonic Electronics, but um. The dynamic test. I mean, this is going to be like kind of what you get with music in your car. I mean, it's ain't, it ain't 3,000 watts, but damn, that's 2,800 watts. That's legit 2,810. I'm flabbergasted. Yeah. I mean, sum it up, Belva. I mean, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm impressed. There it is. The Belva BB five thousand DV two on twenty hundred ten watts on the dyno at dynamic power. I mean, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. This is the best value on the market right now for an amp, bar none. I know Car Audio Bargain gets all the headlines and all the news and everything like that. But I could strap a car to a bargain 1600.1 on this same equipment tomorrow and I will not get 2800 watts at 1 ohm dynamic power. And certified, definitely not getting over 2100 watts. 